lads and lasses, and welcome back. Yes, I haven't done a video for a while since I've been in Canadian land. Um, it's gadget time. I have gadget, and I will now show you gadget. This is a little jerry can that I got for the back of the Land Rover. Um, as you know, we always need water when we're in and out, and we've always got jerry cans knocking around. This is a little bit different. So like I said, it's gadget time. It has on the side here, you see, your average fill it up here and uh, empty it here hole. Right, you got that one? Yes. Uh, it's got a strange little hole down here. You know, you want to know what that is, don't you? You do want to know what that is. Well, let me show you this gadget. Oh, look, it's got a grey lid. What's going on? Well, if you pop this grey lid up, <laughs> you've only got your complete boudoir sink system, haven't you? Look at that, you've got a sink, soap rack, um, whatever you want rack, uh, you've got a mirror, in case you forget what you look like. The behind mirror is storage bay, okay. Toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes can go in there, toothpaste goes in there, razors can go up there, or anything you want really. It's your machine, you know, if you want it, kit it out how you want. Now the clever thing about this is, this holds the water, and there's a sink moulded into it here. You do not have to get the water out of there, and then pour it into here, because that would be stupid, right? What you do is, you lift this little white button, which is a vent, and you pull out this plug here, right? which is a plug, that's why it's called a plug, and through that hole will come bubbling up the water that is in here, because as you know, or as you may not know, water finds its own level. So, once you pull that plug, the water in here will come up through there, all on its very own. No moving parts required, the only thing is a little rubber plug. And when you've got enough water in there, when it's to the height you want it to be, you just put your rubber plug back in, and that stops the flow, you see? This one here, if you pull that one out, that lets the water out of the bottom of the tank, you see? So, easy in, easy out. No moving parts, no electric pumps, nothing to go wrong, providing it's not frozen, okay? This should do you quite well out in the field. It's got a little light that comes with it here, so um, yeah, this is quite bright, isn't it? Look at that, whee! Lovely. Just in case you can't see what you're doing in the dark, these little um, knobs, for want of a better word, go into these recesses, you see? And what they do is lock this together, like that. So that when you're carrying it, the lid doesn't flop open and everything gets broken. Like I said, it's a wonderfully compact little thing, and in the back of the vehicle, it's just a jerry can. But when you want to spruce it up and freshen up, it turns into this. See if I can zoom in on it for you, get you a nice picture. There we go, look. The Reliance Wash and Go Sink and Organizer, BPA free, if you're into that sort of thing. And there's a little picture showing you what they think it should look like. I think it's bloody brilliant myself. Here's a little blurb, uh, or that's the French bit, hang on, there we go. Sink and organizer, holds water for drinking and washing, practical camping product for the whole family. Made of food approved polyethylene. New LED light shines bright when you need it, and the updated holders accept modern toiletries. The light requires three AAA batteries, not included. Bloody thing. And there's just a couple of pictures of it, and the people using it, so you can Take your water out of the tap if you want to drink. You can fill it up when you get to your water source and you can use it as your little sink. All in one go. Look at that. Brilliant little thing. And like I said, it will live in the back of the Land Rover because now I have water for when I need water and washing for when I need washing. So if I have to get under and fiddle with the engine or I've put a tent up and I'm grubby, I'll just reach for my Reliance wash and go. And I've got a sink. I think that is totally bonkers. So I got it. It was um, $49. That's about 25 quid if you uh, want to convert it. So there we are. I think that's a bit mad. You'll pay 20 quid for a jerry can. And now I've got a sink in my Land Rover. Like I said, no moving parts required. So there we are. Again, bought with my own money, not sponsored by Reliance. I bloody wish it was. But there we are. So... Gadget time! See you later, boy!